Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I will be showing you the note-taking system that I use during online classes. Also, on how you can take efficient digital notes for school. And yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. I will be dividing this video into three sections. For the first part, I will share some features of the note-taking app I'm currently using. Second is on how you can set up your notes for it to be organized and on how you can create your template. And lastly is on how I take my notes and then print them directly from the app. But before I proceed, I just wanted to share this one first. So Fotter is an online design maker and photo editor with various templates and royalty-free stock photos. They have useful features like editing an image, creating a collage, a background remover, etc. Under that, they have some templates you can use and edit. Here, I will be searching for a poster template. Let's say your teacher told you to create a poster for an assignment. You can look here in Flutter to find a nice template that you can edit. Click on the template you prefer, and you can now start editing. They have here template, elements, text, photo tabs, etc. On their elements tab, they have various clip arts and photos you can add to your work. There are also text combinations that you can use for your work, which can save you more time. On their background tab, you can choose any design you want. You can easily edit the text by double clicking on it. You can also modify it by choosing a font style and color that you want. Or you can upload other font styles you prefer. So here I'm just continue to edit the work. And once you're done, click on download, add a file name, and choose the file format you want. And here is my work. If you want to try out Flutter, I have a link below, so go check it out, open their website, and you can now start create something. Thank you to Flutter for sponsoring this portion of the video, and now let's go back to the video. First of all, the note-taking app I use is OneNote. I've been using this app since online classes started, and it does have a lot of good features. One of its features is its ability to easily sync your notes from any device. It means you can open your digital notes on your laptop, iPad, or tablet, and even on your phone. You can add notes on the go using your tablet or iPad, or simply use your laptop to take notes during discussions. Another is its organization feature. In OneNote, you can create notebooks for each of your subjects, create a section, and further organize the individual pages in the Pages panel. What I usually do is I separate our every quarter lessons into sections, and here on the Pages panel, I indent those pages under a specific topic. You can easily hide or open the pages under it on which this also saves more space and this is much more organized to look at. So since OneNote is accessible on any device, you can type and annotate your notes. I create my notes using my laptop and I sometimes annotate them using my iPad and Apple Pencil, but I rarely do this since I add highlighters to my notes during I study, not while I take notes, but I guess it depends on the individual. I just found this technique effective for me. OneNote also has this Format Painter option, which allows you to copy the format of a text, and you can apply it to the other text. You can use this especially for your headers or definitions, so that you don't need to manually edit the font style always. OneNote has other more useful features, but those top four are the ones that I want to emphasize since those are the features that I really like about this note-taking app. In setting up your notes here in OneNote, first is you have to create your notebook. For you to sync your notes on other devices, you should save your notebook to OneDrive. You can create a folder for your first semester notes or second semester notes so that you will be more organized. 
and what i also like about here is that you can customize the color of your notebook right click on your notebook go to properties and choose the color you want once you already have a notebook for your subject you will have this infinite page but i will not use that since i will be printing my notes and i use a b5 size paper so now we will be making a template for our notebook to do that first go to the view tab click on paper size and choose a size you prefer in this case i will be using the b5 size paper then adjust the orientation and print margins you can copy my margin dimensions if you will use a b5 paper next you can choose a rule line you prefer you can also set a page color for your notes but personally i just leave my page blank next we will add a default introductory title for our notes on this title portion i usually place the chapter and lesson number of the topic and then the title so it will be easier to identify the individual topics next i usually add the title again on my notes portion i know it's kind of redundant but i already have been used to it so depends on you if you will also add this you can then modify the text by applying a font style and font color a disclaimer guys my actual notes are not that aesthetic it is far from the google docs notes template i share here on my channel so going back here i've been using the font forte in red font color and the text is in the font size 18. but of course you can freely customize your own you can also add the first header of your notes but i do not usually add this to my notes template so after you're done creating a template go back to the view tab on the paper size menu click on save current page as a template add your template name and click the set as default template checkbox so that every time you click on add page your template will automatically appear and you don't have to format your pages again and to have a default font you prefer for your notes go to file tab click options then choose a default font style size and color you prefer here i've been using the bunch craft font in dark blue in the font size 10.5 and you can now start type your notes and now i will share with you how i take my notes i do really have a simple note taking system and honestly i do not add flowery stuff to my notes so that i can save space and time so during my teacher discuss, I always take notes, especially during our biology and chemistry subjects. And while they are discussing, I use the snipping tool feature of my laptop to capture the current slide. So that once I edit my notes, I can easily determine what part of the PowerPoint a particular idea or information was added by my teacher. If I have some free time, I will go over it and check the PowerPoint on our Canvas modules, then transfer those here to OneNote. In short, I will merge the notes from the PowerPoint and the additional info my teacher added during the discussion. And yes, I add 98% of the information from the PowerPoint since I think most of them are important, except those slides that contain the learning objectives and introductions that I think are not that essential. And if the title page is already full, I will click on add page, but this time I will hide the page title to save space, then just duplicate that fully blank page and I continue adding notes. Once you have added a lot of pages, go to the pages panel on the side then indent or move the page succeeding to the title page so that you can easily determine the pages under that topic and you can also close or open the toggle feature on the side to organize them after you're done with your notes i will now teach you how to print them to your paper first turn on your printer and add your paper if you are using a loose leaf paper make sure the holes are on the right side when you face the printer next is on your pages panel press the control key on your keyboard then select the pages under the topic make sure that there is one page interval between the selected pages like in here then press ctrl p to print and just wait for your notes to print on its back side this time select the pages that are not selected before and again there should still be a one page interval flip your paper 
and check that the holes now are on the left side. Press on Ctrl P again, then click Print. After they are printed, organize the pages and you can now study your notes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you got some ideas from my note-taking process and I hope that you enjoy this one. So if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to subscribe. And yes, that is all. Thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video. Bye guys!